Greenpeace says foreign ships take up to 80% of the Pacific's tuna. Nearly a quarter of that is taken from international waters, making it hard to patrol or monitor. Uh, as the tuna stocks in the Pacific have dwindled because of this uh, unflagging pressure by the tuna industry, the local governments in, in various countries, Kiribati and Tokelau and, and other uh, island states in the area, have really come to fight harder and harder to protect what is really their own resources and to fight for a more sustainable and equitable tuna industry. The environmental group wants marine reserves to be established in four areas of the Pacific, collectively referred to as the Pacific Commons. In the meantime, it intends to patrol those areas for ships involved in illegal practices. One government which has welcomed the effort is American Samoa. We have seen all too clearly the damage done by irresponsible and indiscriminate fishing in this region of the world. Transshipping, the use of fish aggregate devices, and unregulated uh, fishing in high seas have caused tremendous harm to tuna populations. The American Samoan congressman says the outsourcing of the fishing process is also damaging the region's economies. For more than 50 years, the U.S. tuna industry was built off the backs of Samoan workers, especially our women who labored long hours standing while cleaning fish. To this day, more than 80% of our own territory's economy hinges on this industry. The Greenpeace spokesman says the mission will gather evidence and doesn't intend to engage in direct or violent harassment tactics used by some anti-whaling campaigners. Scott Longmuir, ABC News.